came across a rather interesting animated wallpaper manager for Linux. And I thought, wouldn't that be nice if you could have that for FreeBSD? And I happened to find a version, which will compile for our favourite operating system. I found a version of Komori B called Komori B BSD. Now this one has been tweaked slightly to uh, run on FreeBSD, which is uh, very nice. And there's some building instructions. Uh, the development is only a couple of days ago, so it's uh, still actively demo, you know, still actively worked on. And there's the instructions and the library is needed. So following these instructions, we'll see if we can get it installed. Right, we're in the command line, and I'm just going to copy and paste the instructions. And there we go. And oh, so far, so good. We're going to change into the directory and do that. And CMake double dot. Ah, right, okay. It took me a couple of minutes to work out the solution, and that was to install libg, either through package or through ports. Once that was done, and we continued with the same instruction, of CMake, everything worked as expected. So after CMake is finished, we next issue a make command. So once that's done, we next issue a do as make install, and that's it. So going into the directory where we were, I could, if I wanted to, I could uh, double click and start it like that. But I prefer to use the command line again. So we just go dot slash Kamari B. And it should, there we go. And a rather nice animated wallpaper at the back. Now it has an unusual side effect in the sense that it's showing all the icons from the desktop plus some ones which were hidden like the directory, but also some of the icons haven't come through. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe I should just disable the uh, icons. You get some rudimentary Options, you can have a new folder, you can paste, uh, change wallpaper, or have a look at the desktop preferences, which we will do. And there's not so much to show at the moment, but I think that will be worked on. You can use 24 hour clock or, or not. I prefer not to, I think I prefer the uh, 12 hour. Show desktop icons, if you look on the left, they appear and disappear. Only just. And enable video wallpapers, which uh, we're going to keep that because otherwise why, why bother showing this? You do get a choice of wallpapers already. Uh, you've got one there, which uh, is a nicely subtle animated. Very nice. Next, you get ones which not so much animated, but have the clocks uh, formatted in different ways. So that's the one that we initially looked at. You got this one where the clock is uh, light against a light background, not so good. Uh, you got a nice uh, one there. Again, the clock, oh, very nice at the bottom of the window, very good. Got the uh, night sky at the bottom right. It'd be nice if you saw some uh, shooting stars going across the screen, that'd be really nice. Just gonna leave it for a bit longer in case anything does. I don't think it's going to do, uh, no. We'll move on. We've got a nice misty forest. A sand one. I, I kind of like that one. That's kind of like, reminds me of uh, Mars. Be good if you're a little uh, gust of uh, sand blowing around. Got that uh, obscured by the uh, rocks, which is a bit unusual. That one where the clock is. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Overhead shot of a beach. Some sand again. Oh, interesting. I wonder if it changes with uh, the time of day. Hmm. 
This one are so uh, you've got uh, mountains. I kind of like that one. I like the uh, I like the font used, although the seven does look like a one. Got one there, which is uh, very artistic and very nice. And another mountainous shot. It's very dramatic. Got one where... Ah, right, yes, it's changing colours. It's very nice. Um, a very cleverly done graffiti one. Or oh, street art. A load of mist, and I don't know where the clock is. Oh, it's top right hand corner. Like a uh, underground building and a night sky where if they move, that would be really nice. Another forest. Reminds me of uh, Ewoks. A mountainous one and a clock one, which is very cleverly done where the clock is at the end of the arrows. Right, yeah, so uh, very nice. I know you can get moving wallpaper uh, done other ways, and even KDE has some animated wallpaper options, but this is very nice, and uh, it's just another way of doing it, and it's nice to see a Linux one ported over to FreeBSD. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.